What's up guys? I got another pair of Red Wing boots. This time it's a pair of Red Wing Rovers. These are the 2905, uh, 2950s. Um, I purchased these on eBay. They were used. I got them for a good price. Paid 80 bucks for these. Not too bad. Uh, the guy said he wore them about a year. So there's still plenty of life in these shoes. Um, as you can see, the bottom, this, the, it hasn't been uh, worn out yet. And uh, the footbed is, hasn't been too squished up. So look at that, pretty cool. Um, the leather insole. <laughs> I don't know why that didn't come in my head real quick. So uh, yeah, there you go. Not a fan of these uh, laces. Uh, eventually I'll change them. And these are not second hand or second or Red Wing Factory seconds. So these aren't too dirty, but they aren't. They're they were used. So um, I'm gonna clean them up first. I'm gonna use the leather oil, the leather cleaner, and uh, wash these up since they aren't mine, or they they weren't mine for a year since I did buy them used. They don't stink or anything, but I was just gonna brush them, but then I was like, why not just do the whole thing? I know they'll uh, probably get a little darker in color since they are the copper rough and toughs and um, he said he did uh, condition these it's, this leather here is really soft already um, it's even uh, softer than my 1907s that are two years old so um, I'm assuming he wore them a lot or he just uh, put a lot of conditioner as you can see you can see some white stuff here so I'm assuming he's the some kind of wax like uh, mink oil or something or something I'm not sure about what he used but they did keep color so these uh, did keep a uh, good original um, color on them so uh, I don't know if he just used the hot the Red Wing um, what's it called leather conditioner on these or what but um, I'm gonna clean them anyways Here we go we got the saddle soap I'll brush this on uh, and I'll do that inside at the sink So here are the rovers after um, the saddle soap. It took less than 10 minutes to clean these off. And as you can see, there's some stains on the leather from the previous user, the owner, previous owner. I don't know what those stains are from, but uh, they did come off with the saddle soap. So, um, oh well. Uh, like again, I did get these at a pretty cheap price. I didn't even know about this model. I was actually looking for um, 
looking for some Red Rover Beckmans and then I saw these, the Round Toad, and then they almost look like uh, my 1907s but with the speed hooks. I wonder how uh, leather laces would be on these. I don't know, I've never tried the leather laces on the speed hooks, um, but maybe I will uh, switch these up to leather laces or, or brown, dark brown lace or something. Um, not a big, like again, I'm not a big fan of the these uh, laces but uh, so these are done cleaned I have to put I'll put some conditioner on them uh, after these are dry I got two different conditioners so once these are dry I'll go ahead and use the Cadillac um, boot and shoe care as the first layer I, I like this stuff um, and it doesn't discolor the rough and tough. I've been using these on this on my 1907s. After that I'll be putting a layer of the Red Foot uh, Red Wing Shoes uh, Leather Cream which is a Neats Foot uh, Oil Blend um, cream on there and this also doesn't discolor the rough and tough color so uh, I'll be using these two once uh, these are dry. So here are the boots uh, after drying about two hours in the garage with a fan on um, so pretty good go ahead and put some of the Cadillac uh, care on there um, running it low on this stuff hope I have enough for this whole uh, shoe for both of these pairs for <laughs> both of these shoes this whole pair so I'll just uh, lather it on with your hands. Very easy. I guess you could say this pretty good as like that. Oh, this tongue is really soft. It's very thin. Uh, leather. I hope I have enough of this stuff for the next shoe. As you can see this, the mid middle sole I guess, still uh, looks very good. So, alright, I think that's good enough for this boot since we're putting the the leather shoe cream on this too. Get sure it's on these cracks and everything. Massage it good, and then we'll let this dry again for maybe another hour, two hours. All right, so that's one shoe. Looks nice already. I think I just wear it like that. I uh, hope I have enough of this stuff. All right, just massage it in. For some reason, this tongue on this one is, seems a little thicker leather than the the right shoe. I don't know why. It just it just seems that way. Get it deep in there. Got a Nordstrom buy some more of this cream. That's where I got this stuff first. Before I went to the Red Wing store to get the leather cream. Before, but this stuff works nice. It's great for your Louis Vuitton purses too. I've heard. So if you're gonna put it on a Louis Vuitton purse, I'm uh, assuming they'd work. This stuff works great on. On our, your Red Wing leather too. So that looks good. Go ahead and let this these uh, pair of Red Wing 2950s dry for a little bit, and then we'll come back and lather on some leather cream on them. All right, so uh, these have been drying for about an hour with the Cadillac cream. So let's um, brush these a little bit. 
They look very nice already. You can still see that they are still a little bit dry right here. They're cracking. So we're gonna go ahead and put the leather cream on. I got a pretty good deal with these boots. The leather looks really good and the sole is uh, as good. Um, I don't think I would have wore them down that much too. So not bad. So here's the leather cream. It's the wet stuff. Just uh, put some uh, dip your finger in there and then rub it on. That's about it. This is all you have to do. Just make sure you coat everything. Get it good in the cracks and everything. With the boot. So again, I uh, didn't even know about these these boots, the Rovers. There's so many Red Wing boots, but uh, I was actually looking for a Beckman. And uh, ended up getting these. I've got the 1907s, the mock toes, and I've got the I've got two mock toes now. I got the I uh, three mock toes actually, and I got the like suede green ones from Japan, and I got the black leather mock toes that I found at Nordstrom, Nordstrom Rack actually, um, and those are those have the super sole on them. And then I've even purchased another, uh, got the, J, the LL Bean Iron Rangers. And I found another pair of Iron Rangers on eBay. Used pair, black ones. I'll uh, do a future a video of that coming up. I'll compare those to the Chippewa Katahedans Kati, 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 uh, engineer boots that I bought too. I have a lot of boots in my rotation. I think I have enough for every day of the week. But um, lately, I've been just using my uh, Black Iron Rangers and uh, my uh, Chippewa boots. The, the J. Crew uh, Chippewas, which aren't bad. And those two almost are very those two are very similar to each other except the red wing has a lot better stitching on it Wait, where did I see that a little extra here so I know that this is gonna be a little more wear there. Make sure you get that midsole going too. And that's about it for this. Out to the left shoe <coughs> or boot. There's people who uh, get mad if you call boots shoes and shoes boots. People just get mad at anything these days. They'll correct you for whatever. Simple, something simple like that. It goes on your feet, it's a shoe, right? <coughs> and these are called Red Wing Shoes. The company is. So here we go, this is uh, the left boot. So even this part, the leather here is hasn't fallen yet, so or it hasn't fallen much, just enough uh, to make it feel comfortable. So like the author of the the eBay listing said, he just said they were just about worn for a year and just about broken in. So, uh, there you go. Um, 
not bad buying on eBay. Just make sure you know your size, and uh, there's they they they'll give you no no uh, trouble to go try try on some boots over at the Red Wing store if you have one locally. I've got a couple near me here in Los Angeles, so um, and they're not too far. The closest one is about four miles away from me, so not too bad. And uh, got a lot of people with a. Uh, good shoe knowledge there and uh, sometimes some not so good some will recommend different products because they don't have the products in that store because some of our Red Wing stores carry different products like this leather cream some stores won't stock or don't stock it they have the older stuff and they have no idea what this stuff is um, so I have to go to a different store to buy it Yeah, I got like about three Red Wing stores in, in, a, in about the same radius from me, in mileage. So, uh, I know what's at what store pretty much. And there's one good, there's a store, the store that has pretty much all the good stuff is the furthest away. So, there you go. Now, uh, let's go ahead and lace these up. This is how I like to lace them. There you go. So for now I'll be keeping these laces. Don't have any other laces available. I don't like going, some people will go in, out. I'll try, I like to go uh, out and in, or top and in. So like that. I like just, I like the look of the lace better like this. And I like the top lace always going to the foot of the shoe, the, whichever shoe it is. So, always have the the right lace or the this stuff on the right side. So, uh, what's next? This one. Alrighty. There you go. The one boot laced up already. Second boot. Let's lace this up. I never used to lace these up until. Uh, the first time I bought a Red Wing boots, the guy at the Red Wing store laced my 1907s like this, and uh, I've pretty much been lacing all my shoes like this since. I don't know if this is a good way to do it or what, but that's how I like it now. It look, I like the look. Then you could always do it with the speed, whatever with the speed laces, fix it with that as you go on. So there you go. Again, like I said, I don't know how the leather laces would work with these speed laces, never tried. But these are the 2950 uh, Rover, uh, Red Wing Shoes Rovers. Let's go ahead and compare those to my. 1907s that I have so the 1907s and the 2950s share the same leather and the same color as you can see it's about the same same shade of brown there and uh, these are my favorite boots and uh, I think I'll be wearing these 2950s a lot um, in the near future too they look really cool so I got the mock toes, the round toes, and uh, who knows what's next, maybe uh, Iron Ranger style for these, or Chucka, I don't know. But uh, I think I'm going to love these 2950s. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.